Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be trying out the fastest keyboard in the world. The keyboard I'm talking about is the SteelSeries Apex Pro. I got it from Best Buy for $200 on the dot, and it was actually the last one they had. Now, you're probably wondering what makes it so good and so freaking expensive. Outside of Mongrel using it, it has by far the lowest actuation point and response time. Don't worry if you don't know what that means because I'm going to explain everything you have to know about keyboards and switches in a minute. Anyways, the reason I bought it was to see how much of a difference a faster switch would make in my gameplay. Most people, including me, are under the impression that keyboard switches are all preference and that just because it's faster, doesn't mean it's gonna make you better. But today, we'll be taking that notion to the test. Lastly, I apologize for looking tired and for the mess behind me. I'm in the middle of moving back to my old house, which is why there's no rug down here and there's boxes everywhere. So just try to cut me some slack. With that being said, let's take a deeper look at the Steel Series Apex Pro and compare it to my Ducky 1-2 Mini. So here it is, boys, in all of its glory. It's got the nice RGB on, and it's looking pretty thick, especially when you compare it to this tiny little guy over here. This is my old keyboard, my Ducky 1-2 Mini, all white with brown switches. The big difference here is that this is a 60% keyboard, so as you can see, there's no arrow keys, function keys, or anything like that. And when I line them up, you could really see how much bigger the Steel Series one is, but it's not that much bigger because it still is a TKL. What a TKL stands for is 10 keyless, which means it doesn't have any of the numbers or the numpad over here. It just ends with the arrow keys. But the real reason this costs so much is because of its switches. It has what are called Omni Point switches, which means you can adjust the point at which it actuates. It goes all the way from 3.2 millimeters, which is a lot and would be really heavy if you tried to press the key down, to 0.4 millimeters, which is ridiculously fast and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be used to. So what a switch does is it sits under the keycap, it's literally under this, and when you press down on it, after a certain travel distance, it will reach its actuation point, at which point it performs whatever that key is on your keyboard. And the cool thing is that each switch has its own different feel, its own different noise, its own different actuation point, and its own different actuation force. There's numerous different brands like Cherry and Gateron, and then within each brand, there are different specific switches like this one, which is called a Cherry MX Blue. This one is a tactile switch and has a clicky feel to it, while all of these ones will have different feels. This one right here is the Cherry MX Red, which is very similar to the Steel Series one I'm gonna use. Then I think this one is green, there's also black, there's a clear one which is really heavy, this is the blue one I just had, and then there's a brown one which was on my ducky. So basically we're gonna see what's better, my ducky with the brown switches I'm used to, or the new Steel Series Apex Pro which has like I said before, a 0.7 millisecond response time and a 0.4 millimeter actuation point. So I hope I taught you something about keyboard switches, now let's go try it out. I'm weirdly excited for this. It's like a little kid on Christmas. Please make me mongrel. Right away, these things are so smooth. They're like butter. Sorry if I'm spamming my keyboard. I gotta get a feel for it. You know what I'm saying? These feel so much different than the ducky because the ducky had brown switches, which are tactile and have a bump. These ones are linear, which means it does not have a bump, so it's insanely smooth. And I actually think I like it a lot more. The weird thing though, is these don't feel that much different than my browns. Like I just did a triple edit like normal. Did I just get ripped off boys for $200? These, fe <laughs> these feel the exact same in terms of actuation force and actuation point. Let me go read a manual or something really quick. Do not worry, I found the issue, and the issue is that I'm an idiot who had the actuation point at the wrong setting. Apparently, you have to change it through the display over here. I don't know if you can see it where my hand is. And looking now, I have it on the fifth, which is, I think, the middle. 
Yeah, it goes all the way up to 10 and all the way down to 1. This should be the 0.4 millimeters. Definitely feels lighter. It feels a lot more like my silvers. Okay. Okay, I kind of like these. Yeah, everything is faster, but I don't know if faster is better. Bruh, I can't do normal combos that I usually do. I just don't think I'm used to how fast these are yet. I think the only place we can truly figure it out is in an actual match. So let me stop bullying this robot. And let's get into an actual game. At this point, you all should know exactly where I'm going. My favorite place on the map, Risky Reels. Oh my god. Played a little ring around the rosy there. Those kills really didn't have anything to do with the keyboard, but it's a good sign so far. What are you doing? This guy's just healing. That was pretty clean though. This keyboard, I like it. I like it a lot. Holy. Well, push him now. That's called zero ping. Dude, come on now. I gotta outrun this zone. Run! My God! Ah! Mind you, this is a public match. Look what zone we're on. It's gonna be a heal off. It's gonna be a heal off. Oh God! What the heck is going on? Oh my God! This is a public match. gosh that's a public match boys what has fortnite become <laughs> oh my gosh at least we secured the dub that was hilarious that was such a weird game overall guys that's gonna do it for me my final review of the keyboard is that i do really like it and it probably will replace my ducky Ducky 1 2 mini giveaway, maybe. But I'm not sure if I like the fastest setting. So for now, I don't think that faster is better. I'm gonna stick with what I thought before and say that it all comes down to preference. So if you enjoyed the video, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel somewhere down here, and to turn on post notifications. Shout out to everyone using code Jerrion. I put all your names up on the screen. I love all you guys. I really do appreciate all your support. Otherwise, that's it from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.